a nice fur dress. What if the beast simply shot on you again? Hi, I'm Moon Lawn. We're an exchange program. I thought we were getting a boy. <laughs> well, you fight like a girl. Oh, that was a compliment. Is there something you need, Moon I was hoping you could deliver this origami crane to Mopey. It should make him feel better. I'm sort of busy here. Maybe. This shouldn't take long. You got that right. <laughs> Make a run to the hospital later to deliver this to Moby. He should be thought out by now. Would you like me to finish my cultural exchange with Belle? I'll take over from here. <laughs> you honor my ancestors. Is she showing your ancestors? <laughs> Just go to the crypt and hang out with your family, Mulan. I will. And I'll give them a regards. They're expecting you shortly. <laughs> Cinderella, how many times have I told you? I am your mother. Oh, right. Anyway, could you get the snappy? It should help. What happened to Moby? He was needled. But I thought he could take a joke. No, no. He was stuck by a needle. 83 times. By a mouse. <laughs> Talk about freak accidents. Cinderella, I'm busy. Oh, allow me. On guard. You're gonna find me with that? I'm off the floor with you. Okay. <laughs> Why are you giving Snappy this shrug? You should give him a clean bill of health. Really? Uh -huh. Take that! And that! And that! Now, if I could finish this little chore? Of course. And don't forget my animal friend of him, my lady, Jessica Furniture. Squirrels, they work for peanuts. <laughs> Snow White. What now? If you could give this exquisite gift to Wheezy and Creepy, it will give them help. What happened to Wheezy and Creepy? Comas. They got hit by a spinning wheel. <laughs> 200 ton, 100 foot spinning wheel, actually. Uh, <laughs> just put it on the table. Good. I'll get to it shortly. Are you going to step in? Step in what? The sword fight? Well, I guess I can make some cutting remarks. <laughs> Just make sure the gift is on the table, and I will get to it shortly. Good. It's been a rare pleasure, Belle. Let's try and keep it that way. Don't you worry, Sleepy. Your company is rarely a pleasure anyway. <laughs> <laughs> You have no idea. Thanks for coming, Belle. No worries, but what's been happening to my little munchkins? You know they don't like it when you call them that. <laughs> no. <laughs> my no means they're called dwarves, Belle. I can't help it, they're so cute and little cuddly. Over the years, I've been quite fond of all seven of them. Well, you've heard about Mopey, Snappy, Wheezy, and Creepy. Yeah, but Oh, I've been quite fond of that beautiful bundle of bulge. <laughs> he got waxed. He's in the hospital. Excuse me? He fell into a vat of hot wax. He was dangling above him by a hair. Is he all right? The doctor said he will recover fully, and he looks great in a bikini. <laughs> <laughs> what about Rashford? Slipped on a Persian carpet. Now he's in a whole new world of pain. <laughs> Sock? Oh, sock's fine. Oh, good. <laughs> See? Oh. oh, scratch that mine! What? Oh. It's Sock this time. Sock? He was such a lovely dwarf, full of life and joy. He's not dead, Martin. He's <laughs> taken to the dwarf ring. And no side trips to the coffin fitting room. As you wish. What just happened? A shark attack. In the castle? But we're miles from the coast and up 12 flights of stairs. A shark NATO, maybe? <laughs> anyway, this is why I called you here. Crazy things are happening and I'm running out of people I can trust. But your family? Charming, 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 and Bubba. Bubba? Don't ask. <laughs> anyway, my son's married some real winners. Sleeping Beauty, Ariel, Rapunzel, and Cinderella. A real rogues gallery. I'm convinced one of them is trying to take my throne. 
I just don't know who. Which is why I sent for you. I want you to be my hand. Yes, my hand. It's sort of like a prime minister, but with less power and more responsibility. <laughs> we do offer an <laughs> excellent retirement package. <laughs> I'd love to help you out, Snelly, but the beast and I... You still call him that? I thought he was transformed. His body was transformed, but his mind? I mean, he still sticks his head out the carriage window. <laughs> <laughs> I was only going to use this as a last resort, though, but you owe me. <laughs> I'm the one who set you and the beast up on that blind date. We met at the animal shelter. Isn't my fault he was running around without a collar? <laughs> anyway, your happily ever after is due to me. How oh, fine, I'll be your fist. Hands. Got to. <laughs> Aren't you going to ask me in? Is that how you treat your fairy godfather? I deserve more respect. Oh, by all means, do come in. That's more like it. What's with the tray? Sushi. Fugu to be exact. Oh, I love sushi. Let me check it out first, Snow. Fugu is a pepperfish. It's considered quite a delicacy in Japan. Well, I love seafood. Pepperfish is also the second most popular vertebrate in the world. If not compared by the most highly skilled tree chefs, it can be loaded with neurotoxins, causing your muscles to spasm uncontrollably. Bad? No. That is looking over the glass coffin. This is doing the hokey pokey of death. <laughs> someone say death! Not yet, Mario. Someone is this. That's lovely. Born of food, you taint the most delectable morsel of the pepperfish. And the brain, the, the brain liver uh, has a, uh, embedded with a neurotoxin. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Martin is quite the foodie. I see. You prepared that sushi. Ariel. I uh, hope it wasn't her cousin or anything. <laughs> is she made it just for you? Thanks, but no thanks for the toxic tuna fish. Sushi. Whatever. Those were a piece of work. Tell me about it. Oh, Queen Charming. Oh, it's Rapunzel up in her tower. Yes, Rapunzel. I'm now out of conditioner again. Pie by the vault. Using your hair as a climbing rope causes split ends. Is there anything else you need? I could use some more hairpins. I told you no more hairpins till you get rid of your blowgun. Ugh. Gosh, so annoying. Well, either way, I need some more quills and ink. I'm trying to finish up my next journal article. A meta-analysis of the subjugation of women in fairy tales! <laughs> that is an ivory tower. I'll get some today. Thanks, Queenie. <laughs> she is a colossal pain in the neck. You more of the queen, why don't you just... I can't. She's got tenure. Tenure! <laughs> this is why I've sent for you. Obviously, crazy things are happening. Yeah. Strange accidents, pufferfish, and blowguns? Something is rotten in the kingdom of charming. Which is why I sent for you again. Two heads are better than one. Misery loves company. You'd catch a good name for oh, me. Oh, why? <laughs> Find my daughters in law and see which one is plotting against me. That should be easy. I'm a master of camouflage. <laughs> just be careful. Don't worry, Snow. This is just a recognition. Now, scoot while I get to work. <laughs> this one's coming. So, I say to Snow, as long as Charming is away. My Charming or your Charming? My Charming. As long as Charming is away. I can't have any male guests, so I say to her, that is rich, coming from a woman who lived with seven dwarves of the male persuasion. That's right. What's good for the goosefish is good for the grouper. Right. Anyway. <laughs> it made me feel like she was calling my character into question. Yeah, talk about the penguin calling the orca black and white. <laughs> well, I am tired of her suspicious attitude. Yeah, I think she woke up on the wrong side of the seabed. I only need to get you an idiom dictionary, don't I? No thanks. You just look it up on the fish net. That's internet, you know. Okay, there's something really creepy about that picture. Yeah, the eyes follow you wherever you go. <laughs> Did you see that? Oh, I know! It's one of those 3D pictures! You have to look at it kind of press side to see it! Creepy. Yeah, right? So anyway, where was I? Snow White's suspicious attitude. I'm glad you think so, Ariel. I know we've been talking a lot about our MIL problem. Am I up? Oh, in love. Gracious, Ariel, don't you text? The ocean is pretty hard on electronics. The point is, we have a solution to our mother-in-law problem. Tonight, I will give her something that will fix everything. And what is that? Well, 
Do you remember when I pricked my finger on that spinning wheel and I fell into a coma? And Charming kissed you! Am I Charming or you're Charming? Obviously you're Charming! Why would my Charming? Oh, right, 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 right. <laughs> that was quite the kiss. Well, it got me thinking about something that might take care of Snow White forever. It really got her dead. What? Oh, my dad! It was just an expression, Martin! Now go away, your cleaning is out. That guy is not sailing with a full deck. That's playing with a full deck. Let's say no more of our plans. Oh, I like this plan. Brilliant, genius, genius. Let's get out of here before someone overhears us. <laughs> How many sons could hunt sons runs if hunt sons could run tons? Fine. Moron, wouldn't it just be easier to use a code word? There may be spies among us, but I assure you, all spies will be met with death. Someone say death! It was just an expression, Martin! More of a promise. Uh, curse me for those that. who enter uninvited. Yeah, curse me that I'm late to my Comic Con gown. <laughs> hey, be careful with that! Those who live by swordfish die by swordfish! That's die by the sword, Ariel. Did you get information on Snow White? Yes, Sleeping Beauty has a big surprise for Snow White. One that will take care of her forever. And when is this to occur? Tonight. I see you. I also bought the pufferfish. Great. Now, have I told you why we need to get rid of Snow White? You see, I have nothing against her personally, but the queen before her banished my dragons from the kingdom. How did she do that? She passed the Clean Air Act. <laughs> oh! <laughs> That eliminated smoke. Oh. Uh, huh? Uh, and her anti-smoking act got rid of pun. <gasps> the magic dragon! The, the same. She had to frolic back to the fields of Honolulu. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No one must know of her plan. Am I clear? As a diving bell. <laughs> well, anyway, I have a big surprise plan for Snow White. Wrigley? Oh, my God! That's an idiom for good luck, right? No, I mean break someone's leg, literally. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mermaids. <laughs> Martin, what's with the bowl? You told me to bring flour for the queen. <sighs> That's flowers, Martin. You are so obsessed with the foods. I picked a hobby anyways. The business has been way down. There has been a homicide, a regicide, or even a slip and slide. <laughs> 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 very dangerous. Easy choke on a mouthful of wine. Anyway, business has been way down. I've been reduced to very hamsters. <sighs> so sad. However, I have a task uniquely tailored to your skill set. Ah, so it's your plot. So it's the plots with you, Martin. Spicy to say you're going to. Cook her goose. Oh, so it's foul play. Yes, and don't chicken out. <laughs> no, 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 you're, you're worse than Ariel. <laughs> Ariel, Sleeping Beauty, and Mulan are all plotting against Snow White. And Martin and the Godfather are clearly up to no good. Who could be coming now? Ah! Rapunzel! <coughs> I never noticed that statue before. <coughs> And so dusty. That won't do, that won't do at all. Luckily, I got some water boiling in the kitchen. I'll give that statue a good scrubbing. Hey, Cinderella, up here. Where? In the tower. Still? It's my fortress of solitude. 
Shouldn't we meet someone where we won't be overheard? Um, sorry, say that again? Shouldn't we? What? Shouldn't what? Shouldn't we meet someone more private? <sighs> <laughs> that statue seems closer. Let's talk fast. You're interrupting my studies. What happened to your hair? I had to cut it. It became tangled. <laughs> <laughs> Lawyers! <laughs> the plan needs to be discussed. Oh, Cinderella, what did I tell you about using the passive voice? The passive voice should not be used. I'm mean, you don't get irony either. Of course I don't. <laughs> anyway, I've talked to the very godfather, and he says that he'll take care of Snow White. How? I don't care about the details, just as Snow White doesn't start to think till the very moment it happens. Right. <laughs> but what about Ariel? <laughs> he says that tonight, Ariel will be swimming with the fishes. <laughs> oh! But isn't she really good at that? <laughs> this is so creepy. Sometimes it feels like the statue is moving. As soon as I look away... Don't blink! Don't even blink! Blink and you're dead! Did someone say death? <laughs> Martin, right now we don't need an undertaker. We need a doctor. Who? Exactly. <laughs> well, it's not. So why don't you wiggly wobbly on out of here? What was that all about? Never mind. It would take me ten doctors to explain. <laughs> and besides, we have plans to discuss. Right, we. <laughs> Why are you rubbing your hands like that? Uh, moisturizer. That cheap dish soap from my eyes is so hard on my hands. <laughs> right, right. This plan, Cinderella, it's brilliant. This is genius. Please. Did you hear something? You're being paranoid, but oddly enough, I do have a sudden urge to leave. Maybe go take a shower. I'm off if you have to my haircut. Well, See you later. And quit leaving your hair to shower walls. Cause I'm showering with a wookie. Oh, whatever. <laughs> no, stop it. Never leave. <sighs> Who could be coming now? All of them in the Ford Exchange Street, too. <laughs> oh. Hi, Belle. How did you know it was me? There was a bully man at the plant. Really? on your face. <laughs> Anyways, why are you in your safe room? It's dangerous out here. I needed some fresh air. You can only watch Netflix for so long. <laughs> so, did you find out which of my daughters-in-law is plotting against me? Yes. Which one? All of them. <laughs> I'm sorry. All? Yeah. Even Cinderella. Oh, yeah. She's so sweet. I'm sure you didn't hear her, right? I saw them pretty clearly. She was yelling up to the tower. All of them are after me. But why? I don't know. But the good news is you have a pretty typical relationship with your in-laws. Bad news? You have a pretty typical relationship with your in-laws. <laughs> <laughs> Someone say death? Oh, no, no, Martin. Don't you have work to do? And a matter of fact, the word goldfish did die. Uh, I was thinking of filet, saute, and flambe. Mm. <laughs> what are we going to do? Well, the two of us can't take on five of them. We're thinking about that. The odds are really stuck against us. This calls for a radical change in plans. Really? Like what? What is this? Apple cider. Apple cider, my You know, that reaction's apples. I know. <laughs> oh. You, it's been you long. Let me give you a hand. Good night, Snow Plan is going great. The princesses are going to do the deed for us. But we have one little problem. What's that? The coupe de race. A coupe? A sedan is a way better feeling car. No, coupe de race. The final stroke. Oh, you mean? Yes, but the person I heard for the drove is not here yet. Who is it? That's just a thing. He or she is very secretive. Hello, how can I help you? I am that door. Come again? Bad rule, Vador! Say that again, slowly. Do I really have to sound this out for you? 
Bad Roba Door. Bad Roba Door. I thought you said that the first time. In Martin. In Martin. I come far from my hot, sweltering home to heed your call. My husband has informed me that you are needing my services. Who's your husband? Aladdin. The story rat. I don't buy that. I do. I'm a big fan of your husband. It's a husband be for me a good name. Not to mention grave robbing and false imprisonment. <laughs> so the false imprisonment. The genie, he had a ransom of three wishes. What a great racket. <laughs> wait, wait. So if you're a lad and white, isn't your name Jasmine? No. Have you ever read One Thousand and One Nights? Nope. Aladdin's Wonderful Lamp. Yeah, but that's just the wrong title. It's just Aladdin. <laughs> really? Read a book. The name line, <laughs> with the name line. Bad Robador! My one gave yourself a nickname, like Bad Bad. Easy to pronounce, and you street cred. <laughs> and then, anyway, aren't you supposed to be wearing some sort of harem number, like halter top and pajama bottoms? Again, read a stinking book! And besides, that apparel is not appropriate for what you hired me to do. You mean? Yes, I'm here to make sure that Snow White gets her just desserts. Great. Do you have everything you need to do the job? Yes, do not worry. I've got everything at all. Ever, please. Good. We're running out of time. We need the job done tonight. Come with us. I think here is the perfect place for the spinning wheel. Here? But I thought it was supposed to be outside. Outside? That's too far. If our plan is going to work, we must get to the thing first. Not the table again. Stop! We weren't walking. <laughs> Who are you? You look awfully familiar. Um, no, that's not it. Oh, I know! You're famous! There's a painting of you here somewhere. <laughs> um, I just really captured your creepy eyes. I got creepy for you, creepy like the dungeon. That was a horrible segue. What do you mean? That was a great segue. No, it really wasn't. About that. What happened to my hand? I sneered pufferfish neurotoxin on your sword handle. Inconceivable! How stupid <laughs> do you think I am? Do you really think I can't tell the difference between a painting and someone standing behind a picture frame? Mm, that wasn't a painting. Oh, shut up. You got smart at this time. So why are you smiling? Because I know something you don't. And that is. I am not contented. You are amazing. <laughs> Why are you smiling? Because I know something that you don't. What is that? The neurotoxin is still in the sword handle. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it. It'll kill you. It'll just paralyze your arms. Oh? And it'll tie her up. This. Wait, what? I don't care. Just bind her and get her out of here. As you wish. <laughs> <laughs> now, back to my plan. Okay, I think we're ready. And now we'll need a rope to... Sitting Beauty, what are you doing here? Are you supposed to be outside? Me, what are you two doing here? And Rapunzel, how did you get out of your tower? I used my hair as a climbing rope. Usually locks are a barrier, but my help be escaped. Oh no, not the puns again. Oh, puns were good enough for Shakespeare. <laughs> Sleepy, this is our space, and you better get out of our way. It's getting really hot in here. Very. <laughs> I can't believe you two. You're so arrogant. I mean, like, how can you just assume you can come in here and take my space? What do you think it's going to get hot in here? I said bell of Rapunzel's tower. Now it's a bell tower. Rapunzel, what happened to your hair? I had it made into a climbing rope. But it was so long and luxurious. I just loved running a pitch right through it. One of the many reasons I cut it all off. Who <laughs> left this sword on the floor? Honestly, everyone just pick up after themselves. Oh, that. Let the lady do her cleaning, Ariel. It's so filthy. Where did I put my soap? <laughs> you may want some anti neurotoxin soap for that. What? My hair's so funny. <laughs> what did you do to Cinderella? Oh, relax, Punzi. It's just a little pufferfish juice. Oh She's no. Oh no. What's wrong? What's wrong? My nose is just what you got. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so good. Stop! Ariel, where did you do your work? <laughs> I thought you walked through the tower! I did! <laughs> I threw Rapunzel's large stack of papers out the window and jumped on it. I went with a light fudge. Only the 
PhDs in the audience will get that one. <laughs> you threw my dissertation out the window. How dare you? So she got with dust her. question is perfect. What are you doing here? I have a bit of a surprise plan. It'll play out much better here. Here? Isn't that a bit overkill? Someone say kill! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, where were we? Phil? Excuse me? There's dust everywhere. I can't do a thing about it! <laughs> ah, my handmaidens. You wash my left hand. You can wash my right hand. Hmm. One more. You can be my foot maid, which is convenient because I have this troublesome and burned toenail. <laughs> I can meet you, queen. Wait, did the queen die? No, but I have a plan, and I will soon have her just where I want her. And I need you to leave. You think that you are anyway? I am Mulan, dragon queen. Did she just say drag queen? <laughs> Be that as it may, I need you all to leave. You're in my way. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> um, I don't know what all of you guys are doing here, but I need the room. <gasps> Who are you? I'm Bad Wilbador. Come again? Listen, you can call me Bad Bad. That's easy to pronounce. And it gives you street cred. <laughs> <laughs> You get street cred when you wipe out an entire Hun horde with a single bottle rocket. I take the cherry bomb too, too. <laughs> oh, I know the name, but it's one door. No, it's pronounced! Oh, you got it right. Wait, wait, wait. Really? Her? How? <laughs> I did my dissertation on strong arm and have settled for weak boys in order to have some measure of independence to fail my hierarchy! Big fan. <laughs> You said boy and all that we go crap. What boy? Aladdin. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Aladdin is such a dreamboat. That's my dreamboat you're talking about. <laughs> so, where is he? The little rhino who can steal my heart? Anywhere. My husband cannot be here today. He is running our carpet business. <laughs> Doing a good job of it, too. The carpets are just flying off the shelves. Is it flying carpet? Oh no, even I'm honey now. <laughs> the fact remains that I need the room, or I'm afraid you'll be iced. You can't threaten us. Do you have any idea who you're dealing with here? <laughs> well, if, with whom you're dealing with? Less grammar, more hammer, punzi. Right, right. <laughs> you know what, man? Mulan, you see, I'm only disguised as a man. I had to take my father's okay, place. Okay, and... that's enough of that. Thank you very much, but right now we need your sword more than your backstory. So come on, <laughs> be a man. Right, let's get down to business. <laughs> Oh my gosh, do you really think I came unarmed? You fools, now I can, I can get rid of you brats. It's a whole new world. <laughs> and you close your eyes. A new fantastic plot for me. Hold your breath, it gets worse, sir. Oh, to tell me no. Erase, wear scanty clothes, or say I'm only scheming. <laughs> None of you get that? Oh, how stupid do you think we are? Of course we get it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Little do you know, this rug is the most evil-tempered, evil thing you've ever laid eyes on. I can't even fathom about it. As if. Say evil again, maybe we'll get it then. <laughs> Why are you so funny? <laughs> <laughs> At least I don't look like you. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay, that's it. You brats asked for it. Now I can get afraid of you. Why am I welcome out of death? I've won enough floored by the flooring. <laughs> But the fact remains, bad, bad, that I have plans to make. Okay, and you are going to have to see that. Oh, you see that? Oh, my God, you're my name. I don't understand, and I just want my God. What is the name of this? Well, you can call me Bad Bad. 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 Bad B
You were part of the plot, too. I'm afraid so, my queen. <laughs> My dog! I'm sorry. What? It's a surprise party for your birthday. Did we get you? Oh, I knew it would work. Well, mostly. Oh, you scared me half to death. I thought it was death. Oh. Martin, we got started a little early. Oh, surprise. We finished the last year to touch that. So you haven't been plotting, my dear. My Nope, nothing made worse than, than, than that. It's a surprise party. Oh, I am so surprised I never heard of... But what about my dwarves? Uh, Luffy and the hot wax, snappy and the needle. Okay, okay, okay. Luffy was helping us out with the birthday candles, and believe me, we needed a whole lot of wax. And snappy was modeling the rest of my photo for you. Awful oh, Weezy and creepy? Oh, they were helping me with the Ferris wheel. I know I should have hired Rose though. Uh, and uh, um, Rushful fell from one of our magic carpets. Um, actually, it <clears throat> was a throw rug. Uh, I have no idea. Socks and the shark. He was helping with the shark snakes for dinner. The shark was really fresh. Mopey and the <laughs> bottle rockets. <laughs> I thought he was uh, on, you know, in perspective. They didn't look bigger than he was. Now, get some perspective on you. I mean, like, get some glasses. Uh, I can't believe you did all of this. Uh, uh, I just. Uh, <sighs> I'll save you so! You stole her! She's a meat locker! You told me to put her on I'm <laughs> Literally! Well, if it isn't my old friend, Belle, the one who was really out to get me. What? How else is this person? Besides, I have the dead to write! Someone say death! You! You said you were gonna cook Snow White's gifts! Oh boy, did I. I moist meat the grit, and I rub down with rosemary, thyme, and onion pearls. What are you talking about? I cooked Snow White's goose. I'm just gotta say, it's a killer job. I wanted to come out to you guys and say, it was ready. Okay. And you, you said Nikki would make sure Snow White gets her just desserts. Obviously, I'm a pastry chef. I don't do entrees. Huh? <laughs> right, I'm a pastry chef. I don't do entrees. Oh, she's just like my name. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so confused. What's going on? It's, uh... Surprise party. <laughs> it is? You mean all of this was? Yeah. Boy, do I feel dumb. Well, you know, we were just a bit paranoid, which is usually a good thing in Fractal Land. <laughs> Something or I turn out to be. And. That too. <sighs> well, I guess I should get heading off. The beast and, you know, the snow. <laughs> Why don't you stay? You mean the beast and I can come with you? Well, as a landlord, I usually don't allow pets. But has he had all his shots? Yes. Then it's settled. <laughs> when can you move in? Just as soon as we talk about the legendary retirement plan. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the show. No death, slammer man, drag fire, witch, heading, beat down, no red wiper, red wedding, and red witch. Happy ending. <laughs> 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 Good night. <laughs>